Hi students, welcome to my class. Dear students, in the last classes we are discussing the uh, area related to similar triangles and then exercise 2.4. So today we are going to discuss so a Pythagoras theorem. So it is a most important, very very important theorem. They are asking for 4 marks question or 5 marks questions for this theorem. Okay, be careful. Let us uh, understand properly. See, let us find the prove uh, the Pythagoras theorem. So in a right triangle, square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. In the seventh standard and the eighth standard, we learned the what so Pythagoras theorem statement. We have to learn it, and then related equations we are learning. It. But in this year, we have to discuss the proving of Pythagoras theorem. So let us find uh, proving of Pythagoras theorem. So in a right triangle. So we have to write the first right triangle. Okay, I will draw one of the right triangle. Okay, this is right triangle at B. So this is ABC is one of the right triangle at B. This is C. Okay, this is the diagram. So given what in right triangle ABC. At B, right angle at B. Now, to prove what we have to prove it, that is to prove what is the statement, the right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse. We know that already hypotenuse. So, what is the hypotenuse? The right angle opposite sides, we call it as hypotenuse. What is the right angle here? Angle B. What is the opposite of angle B? AC. So, AC is hypotenuse. What we have to do? Square of the hypotenuse. So, First, we have to square the hypotenuse. AC is the hypotenuse. If you are doing the square, so it becomes AC square. So, so square of the hypotenuse is equal to the is equal to is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sets. What are the other two sets? AB and BC. AB and BC. So, sum of the squares of the other two sets, correct? In a right angle triangle, square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So, this statement we are writing the equations for. So, that's why we have to prove it AC square is equal to AB square plus of BC square, correct? So, shall we go to the next one? So, small construction, we have to do small construction. So what is the construction? See BD is perpendicular to draw BD is perpendicular to AC. So I will draw the BD line to the perpendicular to AC. Got it? So now proof. Very very important proof. So first see students. First, we have to consider, see, there are three triangles there. So, one is A, B, D, correct? A, B, D or A, D, B, one is the triangle, another B, D, C is the another triangle. First triangle, second triangle and then whole triangle, A, B, C. So, every triangles, it become what? Right angle triangle because A, B, C is a right angle at B, A, D, B is right angle at D, B, D, C is right angle at D. So, the three triangles is also a right triangles. So first we have to consider this is first triangle, this is second triangle and then whole triangle. Okay. First I will consider first triangle and the whole triangle. Okay. A, B, D. I will consider first and A, B, C and second. So A, B, D, first triangle and then whole triangle you should consider first. So in triangle A, B, D, A, B, D and triangle so a b d is one of the triangle and a b c a b c so i will consider the two triangle first triangle and the whole triangle okay so what we have to do these two triangles so first of all we have to prove that these two triangles are similar got it yes come to that uh, in the similar triangle what we have to need it so any Three, two corresponding sets are in the same proportions 
or uh, one angles must be equal then the two triangles are similar or three sides corresponding sides are in the same ratio or any two angles are equal okay shall we find out which is the uh, element we have to need uh, find it see in that ABB or ABD triangle angle B is what 90 degree angle ABC in the triangle angle B is 90 degree okay 90 degree and 90 degree got it so therefore and the ABD ABD ABB ABB is equal to ABC because of 90 degree correct 90 degree and then one angle we got it so another one angle if you have got it means then the two triangles are similar so another triangle angle C angle A because A is common angle D A B angle of angle of A is the e, e, this angles is, is A B B and A B C both angles is the common angle angle A is common of A B D and A B C okay therefore D A B it is equal to B A C B A C because of common common angle okay next therefore the triangle A B D is similar to triangle A B C by the similarity A A similarity okay now when the two triangles are similar then the corresponding sides are in the same proportion or same ratio see I will consider AD AD by see here AD AD is a side of ABD correct this is the base in that ABC ABC what is the base correct AB is a base but it so AD by AB AD is a base of ABD like that in that base we have to take it as a ABC in the ABC base is AB therefore AD by AB so that's why I write it is equal to one side we are writing the proportion another side see another side yes AB is what AB is a hypotenuse of ABB correct AC is what AC is a hypotenuse of ABC therefore AB by AC hypotenuse I will take it AB by AC correct AB by AC so now we have to do cross multiplication AB into AB AB square it is equal to AD into AC AD into AC so call it as number 1 so next like that second triangle and the whole triangle we should consider it so second triangle in triangle okay what is the triangle BDC and ABC triangle ABC okay in that BDC and ABD ABC 90 degree therefore BDC it is equal to ABC it is equal to 90 degree so one angle you got it the another one angles if you have got it means that two triangles are similar so angle C is common C D, D, B, C, D or D, C, B and D, C, B it is equal to angle A, C, B it is equal to because of common angle ok common angle so enough these two angles the corresponding two angles are equal then the two triangles are what similar therefore triangle a B sorry B D C B D C is similar to triangle A B C because of A A similarity. Okay. Now when the two triangles are similar, then the corresponding sides are the same ratio or same proportion. See D C. Yes, D C is the side of B D C. Okay, in like that ABC in that ABC BC is a side in that ABC BC is a base in the BDC DC is a base got it in that ABC BC is a base therefore DC by BC so one it is equal to 
hypotenuse you should take what is the hypotenuse of bdc yes bc is the hypotenuse bc by and then what is the hypotenuse of abc then yes abc hypotenuse ac bdc hypotenuse bc okay bc by ac so now we should cross multiply that so bc into bc bc square it is equal to bc into ac bc into ac dot is indicated as into okay next bc square is equal to bc into ac called as number 2 so this is 1 and this is 2 adding 1 and 2 final step adding 1 and 2 so what is that one ab square or in a lhs set ab square plus of bc square ab square plus of bc square it is equal to ad into ac ad into ac plus bc into ac bc into ac in that ac is a common okay ac here is there here also ac is there so common factor should take out remaining ad plus of bc so ac into so ad plus bc you should see in that diagram ad plus bc what will you get ac Therefore, AC. AC into AC, what will happen? AC square. Therefore, AB square plus of BC square, it is equal to AC square. Or AC square is equal to AB square plus of BC square. Otherwise, you should write AC square is equal to AB square plus of BC square. Hence the proof. Understand? It's a very, very important theorem. They are asking 100% they are asking in the final examinations. The last year is also asking for 5 marks questions. Okay, so you have to learn properly and practice properly. Okay, that's all. Any doubts? Okay, so next we will go to the exercise problems. First question Sides of triangles are given below. Determine which of them are the right triangles. In case of right triangle, write the hypotenuse of its, write the length of the hypotenuse. See, they are given the sides. These sides are the right angle triangle sides. We have to check it. If it is the, it becomes these sides are the right angle triangle sides. Then we have to calculate the hypotenuse. So let us check it. How it is? Uh, these are these sides are uh, sides of right angle triangle or not? So first one, seven centimeter, twenty four centimeter, and twenty five centimeter. Correct? Okay. In that, so this is AB, this is BC, and this is AC. So the highest value is an AC. So our format. AC square is equal to AB square plus of BC square. Correct? The highest number is AC. Therefore, I will give the AC. AC square is equal to 25 square. It is equal to AB means 7 square plus of BC means 24 square. So now 25 square means 625. It is equal to 7 square means 49 plus 24 square means 576. Correct? So 625 it is equal to so 49 plus of 576 576 plus of 24 625 625 so 625 is equal to 625 LHS is equal to RHS therefore these therefore these are sides of right triangle right triangle therefore hypotenuse is What? Highest one? 25 centimeter. Understand? So now, second one like that. 3 centimeter and then 8 centimeter. But finally, 6 centimeter. Okay. In that, highest number is 8. Therefore, this is AC. This is ABR BC. This is ABR BC. If you are giving AB, this is you should give the BC. Then, 
a c square that is equal to a b square plus of b c square. So now a c square means a square, it is equal to a b square means 3 square, b c square means 6 square, so a square means 64, 3 square means 9, 6 square means 36. Now 64 it is equal to 36 plus of 9, 45. So 64 is not equal to 45, therefore these are not these are not sides of right triangle. Understand? So like that, so question number 3 and 4 are there in the first line. You have to check it in our home. Okay. Shall we go to the second question? Yes. So question number second. M is a midpoint of QR. This is a right angle. M is a midpoint of QR. Okay. So therefore, this one, this one is equal. And then we have to prove that QR such that PM is perpendicular to QR. Okay. PM is perpendicular to QR. PM is perpendicular to QR. Therefore, this is perpendicular to each other. PM is perpendicular to QR. Now show that PM square is equal to QM into MR. Pm square is equal to Qm into Mr. We have to prove it. Yes, let me prove it. So what first given? What are given? In right triangle PQR at P. Okay. Such that Pm is perpendicular to QR and M is the midpoint of QR. Therefore, that is uh, QM it is equal to YMR. This is given. Now to prove what we have to prove it. Yes, PM square is equal to PM square it is equal to QM into YMR. So that this one we want to prove it. So next proof. So at first three, these two triangles are there here. So first we have to consider first two triangles. In triangle P M Q. In triangle P M Q, angle M is a 90 degree. Correct? Angle M is 90 degree. Now P M Q is because uh, P M Q is a right triangles. We are using the Pythagoras theorem. According to into Pythagoras theorem. Okay. See, what is the Pythagoras theorem? So, square of the hypotenuse. What is the square hypotenuse here? PQ. So, PQ square it is equal to the square of the hypotenuse is equal to square of sum of the squares of the other two sides. Other two sides is PM and QM. PM and QM. So, therefore, PM square plus of QM square. Now, I will take PM square. PM square is equal to PQ square. I will send to the LHS side. So, it become minus QM square. So, therefore, PM square is equal to PQ square minus of QM square plus the number 1. So, now, I will consider the next in triangle PMR. In triangle PM R, correct? In that angle M is 90 degree. 
एंगल पी एम आर इन नाइनटी डिग्री करेक्ट देर फॉर अगेन अकॉर्डिंग टू अकॉर्डिंग टू पाइथा गोरस थ्योरम व्हेन दैट पी आर स्क्वायर हाइपोटेनस इज पी आर देर फॉर पी आर स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू पी एम स्क्वायर प्लस ऑफ पी एम स्क्वायर प्लस ऑफ एम आर स्क्वायर एम आर स्क्वायर ओके सो आई विल टेक द एम पी एम स्क्वायर इट इज इक्वल टू सो एम आर यू हैव टू सेंड हियर देयर फॉर पी आर स्क्वायर माइनस ऑफ एम आर स्क्वायर कॉल इट एज नंबर 2 एडिंग 1 एंड 2 एडिंग 1 एंड 2 सो पी एम स्क्वायर हियर पी एम स्क्वायर 2 टाइम्स ऑफ पी एम स्क्वायर इट इज इक्वल टू Here P R P Q square here P R square so P Q square plus of P R square P Q square plus of P R square minus two M square minus two M square minus of M R square okay next P Q plus P Q square plus of P R square see P Q square plus of P R square so call it as shall we rearrange the Q R square Q R square because P Q R is a right angle triangle at P Q R is the hypotenuse square of the hypotenuse is equal to square of the sum of the other two sides. Therefore, P Q square plus of P R square instead of I will write that this sum these other two squares of the sum of the other two sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Therefore, Q R square I will write the Q R square. Got it? So next plus P R sorry P Q square plus of P R square I will write the Q R square minus of Q M square minus of M R square. Now Q R can be written as Q M plus of M R. Q M plus of M R whole square. Correct. Q R instead of Q M plus of M R whole square minus of Q M square minus of M R square. I will get as it is. Now this is A plus B whole square formula. Correct. I will expand it in the form of a plus b whole square. What is a plus b whole square? Correct. A square plus b square plus b two a. So a is q m square plus of m r square plus plus two times of q m into m r minus of this. You have to write as it is minus of q m square minus of m r square. Okay. So this writes plus q m square minus q m square get cancelled. Plus m r square minus m r square get cancelled. Remaining two q m into m r. So this is what two p m square. Two p m square. Now two to get cancelled. Remaining what p m square. So this is equal to q m into m r. And suppose see p m square is equal to q m into m r. P M square is equal to Q M into M. Understand? So very simple. You have to practice properly in your home. It will come. Okay. So next question number four. Yes. Question number. Third one, as it is, is there? I have to do in your home. Okay. I will go to the question number four. So ABC is a isosceles triangle, right angle at uh, C. Prove that AB square is equal to two times of AC square. See, ABC is an isosceles triangle. Okay. And also right angle triangle. Isosceles right triangle, right angle triangle. Okay. See, this one and this one is equal. A, this is B, and this is C. Right angle at C, correct? Yes, right angle at C. Prove that AB square is equal to two times of AC square. Basically, isosceles triangles means two sides are equal. So it is a right angle triangle and also a isosceles triangle. Right isosceles triangle. This is. So AC square is equal to BC. AC is equal to BC here, correct? So what we have to prove it? AB square is equal to two times of AC square. See, in triangle. ABC is a right triangle at C. According to 
Pythagoras theorem. So, Pythagoras theorem, we have to use it. AB square is equal to C. AB is a hypotenuse and the C opposite side AB. It is equal to remaining side AB, AC plus of BC. So, AC square plus of BC square. Correct. And AC is equal to BC here. AC is equal to BC because of isosceles time. Now, AB square it is equal to AC, I will write as it is right now, plus BC instead of, can I use the AC? BC instead of, I will substitute the AC instead of BC. So, AB square it is equal to AC square plus of AC square, two times of AC square. That's all. Hence the proof. Very simple. Two more questions. Okay. Next. Like that only. Question number five is there. Like that only. We have to practice. We have to solve in the form. Okay. So next question number six. I will go to the question number six. ABC is an equilateral triangle. Okay. ABC is an equilateral triangle of side 2A. Yes. This is one of the equilateral triangle. In an equilateral triangle, what all sides are equal. Correct. All sides are equal. And then each side is 2A. This is 2A, this is also 2A, and this is also 2A. Now, find the each of the altitudes in a right equilateral right triangle, all altitudes are equal. And also, in a right equilateral right triangle, altitude and the medians are same in an equilateral right triangle. Correct. Therefore, this is divided in the equal parts. Okay, this is D. So, AD is a median and also a altitude. So, if it is the considered the median, AD is divided the BC in equal parts, therefore BC is a 2A, therefore BD is equal to A and DC is equal to A. Now we have to calculate the AD length. This is the altitude. So, in triangle ABC is a equilateral triangle. Okay. In that Therefore, AB is equal to BC is equal to CA is equal to 2A and AD is altitude that is AD is perpendicular to BC. Okay, this is altitude and also a median. So now AD is altitude that is AD is a BC and AD is also a medium that is BD is equal to DC BD is equal to DC okay now I will consider the triangle in triangle ABD ABD is a right triangle at D Okay, because of AD is perpendicular to BC. Now, I will find according to the Pythagoras theorem, according to Pythagoras theorem, so in that square of the hypotenuse, that means AB square, it is equal to AD square plus of BD square. AB square plus of BD square. Okay. Now, AB, what is the length of AB? 2A. So, this is 2A. So BD is equal to this, what is the length? A. So 2A whole square. It is equal to AD length. We have to calculate AD. AD square as it is right now. First of all, BD, BD length is A. Therefore A square. So now 2A whole square means 4A square. It is equal to AD square plus of A square. A square. So A square you have to send here. 4A square minus of A square, it is equal to AD square. So 4A square minus of A square, this is 3A square, it is equal to AD square. So therefore, AD square, it is equal to 3A square. So AD I want, AD is equal to square root of 3A square. So the square root is applied for 3 and also A square. Square square root will cancel, remaining root 3 yeah, this is the length of altitude. So therefore, AD is equal to root 3A units. Understand students? It's very simple. 
we have to uh, draw the diagram properly and then we have to write the given what we have to calculate, what we have to find out that one you have to understand properly and then you have to find it understand? so like this you have to solve it in the remaining questions we have to discuss in the next class ok students, thank you